Hey there, YouTubes. Hey there, YouTubes. Now, this goes out to people that are fairly technically competent. <laughs> uh, probably more on the side of extremely technically competent. <laughs> All right, so I've been playing around with Blue Stacks and I've been playing around with uh, Andy. And both of them have, um, I can see that within both of them, they each actually have the menu bar disabled by default, which is great, but the menu bar still shows up. So that means that instead of actually it being inside of Android is where the menu bar is, that means the menu bar is actually inside of um, BlueStacks or inside of uh, Andy. And both of them utilize it in different ways, obviously. But both of them, I don't want the menu bar anymore. I want to get rid of the menu bar. Because that is, you know, a, a smidge of real estate that we could utilize more uh, when we have that going on. So obviously, uh, right here's the line of code that's in question that shows that, you know, it was disabled here. And I did... Um, try rooting it and try a whole bunch of other things just to get that going. And you can see that um, I can get it to hide the menu bar, that the actual menu bar over here, this is the actual menu bar from Android. And so there's uh, a little tool that I got that to go, but it was hidden by default already. And they have instead this uh, custom system one that's actually through BlueStacks or through Andy. I really want to know, anyone figured out a way to get rid of the menu bar in BlueStacks or Andy? Because <laughs> um, you could try rooting it, you can try doing all that stuff, you can try, when I'm talking about rooting, you're rooting the Android operating system. And within it, I already rooted it, and then I took a look at the, um, basically the, the, the file that, uh, the build.prop file, which actually manages the keyboard, but, it's already disabled. <laughs> it's already disabled. Oh, so that means that this is not from Android, that this bar here is not really an Android um, specific bar, but actually within one of those programs, BlueStacks or uh, something else. So I really wanna just, I wanna kill the bar. I wanna kill it, kill it with fire. Because that's an additional, you know, a little bit of space. It's not like a ton of space, but it's, it's enough space to make a difference. So, I've showed people how to, you know, how to resize your stuff and for, <clears throat> so we can do a little nice tip for people that have Andy here. I see a lot of people playing Andy and they got black bars on the right hand and left hand side. You can take care of that fairly easily. Uh, that, all you gotta do is go in here, go to the Andy, um, right click on the Andy icon there, go to settings and inside of settings, go to resolution DPI. Instead of resolution DPI, set it to your, um, right in here, the screen resolution of your screen. So right here you can see that, uh, let me take a show you my, not this one, this is my uh, dual monitor and this is the other monitor on the side with uh, another monitor on top. So I have a weird configuration. Don't look at all these screens, the four screens I know, four monitors, I'm a little insane, it's fine. Don't worry, <laughs> I got uh, six monitors in total, but four of them currently in use. <laughs> so um, this is the monitor that I use for recording. And then when I switch off, I just put these in I infinity. So um, as you can see, that's a nice screen, isn't it? <laughs> that's a big one, that's a big one. But actually once I go into full I infinity, these all get combined together and that's a ton of real estate four screens that's it's a lot of real estate <laughs> but let's go back to this so here's the uh, settings uh, so you get the resolution then you put that in there and then you change it the default it comes at is pretty small and you see lots of people with the default size just change the default increase the screen size a little bit and ta-da black bars on the right hand and left hand side go bye bye but now I'm trying to get rid of this Getting of that is a little bit more difficult than just changing <laughs> changing a setting. This is changing the program. <laughs> uh, I thought you know maybe it was the settings of Android itself. And in Android, you can get rid of this navigation bar. And getting rid of the navigation bar is right here. This is how you get rid of it. But it's already gotten rid of. It's already gone. It's already hidden. 
with a one right here, that means it's already hidden. That sucks. <laughs> that means that this bar here is actually from Bluestacks or Andy. Andy or Bluestacks, they both made their own custom bar there. Anyone know how to change the custom bar <laughs> for Bluestacks or for Andy? How to modify the nav bar in Bluestacks or Andy to get rid of it, make it go by, <laughs> to just destroy it. So as you can see, I did a little bit of you know futzing around trying to figure out. So I rooted the device, I got it to go on, blah, blah, blah. Got in here to edit the stuff and I see it's already gone. Lulz, <laughs> it got me. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be smart and just delete it and fix it and nope. That's not the case. Oh, so that means that it's going to take a little bit more effort. That means I got to figure out with Andy or Blue Stacks inside the programming of it. Now, I was looking inside for Blue Stacks and I did see some reference to a menu bar and nav bar, but I made changes to the registry settings for it and I didn't do anything. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here, let me um, pull over the registry, regedit, or do I even have regedit still open? No, I do not. So I could uh, get that going for you. Make sure I didn't do anything else. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there ain't nothing in there. <laughs> so regedit. So let me get that going. Yeah, 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 who cares? Let me show you the blue stacks. So with blue stacks, let me pull that up fast. La 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 la. I'm just gonna. I got it on the other uh, monitor over here. I'm just playing with it fast, and I'll show it to you guys. So you know what I'm talking about. Guess Android frame of a network share configure. There we go. All right. So in here we have some stuff. So inside here, I was playing around with it and, okay, so this is just the, uh, the basic stuff. Now we're inside a network, is it, is it shed? I'm being tired right now. Ooh, a lot of sleep I need to catch up on, apparently. So inside of here, there we go, is it config? I'm just being confused. Stuff or ski, nope. Or no, I, I deleted them out just in case. So no, uh, I, there's three of them that were in here that all referenced um, the nav bar. I did delete them out and deleting it or changing it or editing it, they gave like a default size of like 40. And so they're talking about like 40 pixels. So it's uh, 40 pixels in size. And uh, that did match up, so it did actually match up to the screen size that it took, and I modified it down like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, blah, 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 and it did absolutely nothing. Did nothing. So then I tried just deleting it out, and it did nothing as well. Deleting it still left that bar there. That bar is in there by default, which sort of sucks. So there's gotta be something within maybe a DLL file. Maybe I gotta go in and actually modify Andy or modify Bluestacks program to get it to go. Cause man, I really wanna get rid of that black bar. Anyone, anyone able to do that thus far to get rid of that and kill it with fire? Kill it, kill it with fire. Cause I just wanna get rid of it. I don't really need a back bar, pretty much for Bluestacks. I only use it for one program, so I could just launch that program from the app uh, where it basically you can launch a program directly from the apps. Uh, so there's like a, basically like a folder on your, um, in the menu. You could just launch it just by clicking on that. You don't even have to launch everything else. It just launches that application only. And that's what we're hoping to do to get rid of this, to get rid of that. So if anyone knows how to do it, that'd be great. Because <laughs> uh, I started playing around with it, trying, you know, reg edit, anything like that, to see if I could find any reference to the nav bar. I did find references for blue stacks for the nav bar, 
but editing it and doing all that kind of stuff did nothing for it. It did nothing, nothing I could tell. It looked like, and I restarted obviously, and I rebooted the computer after making the modifications, and it did nothing. It, the black bar remained. So that means it's gotta be inside the program itself. <laughs> I'm trying to do advanced, advanced features. <laughs> Not just regular, but more advanced than just regedit. <laughs> more advanced than actually editing a, <laughs> the file systems for <laughs> Android. Oh, so this is, so it's not an Android, not in regedit. We tried those. It's gotta be within the program itself then. Or maybe somewhere else. Maybe I missed it. Maybe it was in regedit. I just missed it. Anyone figured it out already? Cause that'd be cool if you guys did. <laughs> Uh, this is a question for YouTube out there for people who are technically competent that are a little smarter than I or way more smarter than I because I, I, you know, I'm decent enough, but God, this is actually making me scratch my head. Mm. Right there shows that uh, for Android, at least for the operating system that the, the keys have been disabled. So, yeah, it's been disabled. So that means this is within the program, not within Android. So within Andy, this is where that is. Maybe I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really play around some more and see if I can find where that is. Maybe I'd open up some Visual Basic and start playing with some DLL files or something. I don't know. Maybe. Don't know if that's legal or not either. So I'm gonna look into that too. But I just want to get rid of that black bar. That'd be so awesome to get rid of the nav bar. With Andy, I know they got a, a fairly competent technical support team, so maybe I could bug them and do it. Maybe. I don't know if they would actually be willing to show me how to modify their files to to change that or maybe it's a setting that I just completely missed that was super easy I am new with Andy so I will say that I am not that familiar and what I mean I'm new with Andy um, I just installed it like an hour ago <laughs> I installed it like an hour ago I already rooted it and uh, I already been playing around with it to see if I can Modify it to my liking, like getting rid of this. <laughs> I already figured out most of the other settings. I already changed how many CPUs it has. I already changed uh, how much RAM it has. And for those that don't know how to do that, uh, you can, uh, inside the shell here, inside the, uh, inside the Andy launcher, uh, you can change it, uh, the clone, and change the settings. Well, this one's only at one and three, but uh, over here, this one's got uh, three CPUs and 3,000, or th basically three gigs and three CPUs I threw on this one. So, yeah, I played with the settings, okay? I did what I thought would <laughs> make it work or not work. So I, I played with it a little bit, and... Uh, just wondering if you guys figured it out. I did also play, obviously, with BlueStacks to try and figure it out. And same thing with BlueStacks. It's not within... So I rooted BlueStacks, too. And the same thing. It, it's... BlueStacks... <laughs> Android is not actually making this... This is being made by Andy and by BlueStacks. Android's one is hidden. Android's one. I could make Android's one pop back up. This is actually the Android one. This one is not the Android. Not Android. You're not Android. You are from the program. You've been made from these people. <laughs> so I need to figure out how to get rid of that. Anyone figure it out? If you can, please tell me. Please tell me. I'd love to know. Love to know. Scratch my head a little on this one, trying to figure it out, trying to get rid of that. Because then. I just, you know, I was going, I first tried doing it with BlueStacks today, and then I was like, oh, it's just not working. I can see that, you know, it was a, within BlueStacks, and then so that I tried Andy to see whatever I could do to it, and once again, it's within Andy. 
So if anyone knows how to fix that, let me know. Let me know. Love to know. All right, all right. I should get going. Just wanted to see if I, any of you guys out there know that or know anyone that's technically competent in Bluestacks or Andy that could help me out with that because it's, it's interesting. It's interesting, I tell you. All right, all right. Have a good ones, guys. Have a good ones, and I will see you guys shortly.